In a world where the average attention span is just eight seconds, it's essential that your website loads quickly. Search engines like Google also really appreciate fast websites, so it can have a positive effect on your search engine rankings. In this video, I'm gonna be trying out Airlift, a free performance plugin for WordPress. Now the developers of this plugin, they don't promise a speed of 100 out of 100 on Google PageSpeed score, but they're pretty sure that you're gonna see an improvement on your website's performance. If you do try out Airlift and you don't see a performance increase, simply raise a support ticket with the team and they will help you out to get the boost that you deserve. It's fully automated, so it's just literally a click of a button. And when you install the plugin, it goes through your website and analyzes all of your code to identify areas that are slowing your website down. It also goes through your website just as a user would to discover the user experience and find out how people interact with your website so that when it does do some optimization, it doesn't harm your user experience in any way. So let's jump on the computer. I've got a website that I wanna optimize. What we'll do is we'll test it on Google PageSpeed first without the plugin to see what kind of scores we're getting. Then I'll take you through how to install and set it up. If you wanna go and get yourself a copy of Airlift for absolutely free, uh, you'll see a link appear there and you'll also find a link in the description. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna try out Airlift on this website. It's snackeagle.com, one of my niche website projects. And before we start, let's uh, run it through Google PageSpeed and see what scores uh, we're getting. So uh, here's Google PageSpeed Insights. Let's paste in the URL and let's see what score we get. Okay, so the results are in. We've got a score of 75, which is, is not too bad. I mean, the site is running popcorn theme and it is on some fast hosting. So uh, that's pretty decent. For desktop, we've got 98. Um, but I would like to increase this uh, so that it's in the green at the very least. So let's install Airlift and see what happens. First thing you need to do is head over to the Airlift website. Uh, you'll find a link in the description uh, and then click sign up. Here you can sign up with Google or just simply enter an email address, which is what I'm gonna do. Let's pop in an email address. Stick a password in. Then we're done, let's click sign up. The next step is to enter your URL. So I think I've still got that on my clipboard, let's paste it in and then click continue. And then we need to install the plugin. So we can download it by clicking on this button, download it to your computer, then head over to your website, go into the dashboard, then go to plugins, add new plugin, upload plugin, choose a file, find the file on your computer. Here it is. Click open and then install now. Okay, that's installed, let's click activate. Okay, that's all activated. So we now need to head back to the Airlift dashboard. Now we need to click test plugin. It says the plugin connection was successful, so that's great. Let's click initiate sync and it's now going to do its analysis. So yeah, as I said in the introduction, it's going to go through every bit of code on the website. It's going to interact with it like a user. It's going to try and figure out uh, which areas are slowing things down. And then it's going to start optimizing them without having a negative effect on user experience. So this is going to take a few minutes. So yeah, while it's doing that, uh, I'll do a quick edit. Okay, so it's come back with the score, which is obviously very similar to what Google reported. We've got 77 in here. It's got the page size, it's got the load time, and it's now going through and doing some optimization and some configuration to improve the performance. It's gonna take a few more minutes, so let's just wait. Uh, stuff's starting to happen though. We can see that um, it's found some JavaScript that it can delay. It's uh, doing some dynamic use CSS calculation. Now, of course, you don't need to mess with any of this stuff because it is all self-configuring. There's nothing for you to worry about. So there we go. It says it's optimized it up to 100. Well, we'll wait and see, I guess, what Google says. Um, you've got um, some information here about how it's reduced the page size and the number of requests. 
It's still going through and optimizing some of the other pages and the images, so that's going to take a few more minutes. We can now take a look at um, the difference to the site. Hopefully there won't be any major differences. It looks the same. Everything seems to be working well. Nothing looks like it's broken, which is obviously a good thing. And here we've got some other optimization ticks. So it's done some image resizing. It's converted them into WebP, which is a really fast format for images. It's done some lazy loading. It's optimized 20 images so far, which are the homepage images. It's still going through the rest of the site at the moment. And yeah, here's some CSS options in terms of what it's done with the CSS. So it's minified it and um, tried to reduce the number of requests. Uh, and the same with the JavaScript. It's going to delay some of the JavaScript, minify it and defer it. We've got font optimization if you're running Google Fonts. It's done a whole load of stuff. And it reckons that we've got a score of 100. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's just visit the optimized page just to double check everything looks OK, which it does, although I am logged in. So what I'm going to do is just pop open a incognito window and uh, take a look at it in here. Just to double check, and yeah, everything looks absolutely fine. Let's take a look at an article. Again, all looks good, everything's working. Uh, don't worry about these boxes on the side, I've turned off the ads for the time being. Okay, all looking really good. So let's uh, let's see what that Google PageSpeed score actually is. See if we are getting the 100 that it says we are. So let's click uh, Analyze again. There we go. Page speed score of 100 on mobile and 100 on desktop. How easy was that? So there we go. That was Airlift. Pretty impressive, huh? Let me know how you got on with Airlift in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get, and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.